The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it's for the championship. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 255 pounds, the Punisher, Ricky Armstrong. Guys, the upcoming triple threat match should be nothing short of spectacular. Yeah, especially considering what a victory could do for the career of the superstar who walks out of here with the win. Introducing the challenger from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Jay, Jay Ramirez. Here we go, guys, the triple threat match we've all been waiting for. And any time you get to see these superstars compete in the same ring at the same time is a real treat. Introducing the champion from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 245 pounds. He is the Grand Prix World Byron, if there's been a more champion, highly anticipated triple threat match in Tyler recent memory, Blackman. I can't recall it. Me neither, Michael. Given the three competitors involved here, I think it's safe to say that heading in, this is among the most eagerly anticipated triple threat matches in recent memory.
And here we go with this wow. triple threat match. Well, we're looking at three of WWE's best going at it head to head to head in what promises Ouch. to be an amazing match. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. The Florida Keys. Oh. His shoulders are down. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. That's too early for that. Running Hurricane Rana. This might be it. Oh, my. Uh oh. Oh, breakneck speed. What a Hurricane Rana. Drop kick with precision. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom, what impact. What a strike. Right on the mark. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. He's going for the pin. And only a one count. Not yet. Beautiful technique. The challenger not looking good right now. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was... He's got the shoulders down. No, they're not done yet, not even close. Yeah, he's not done yet. What a clothesline! Ouch! Oh boy, he is rolling. The triple threat match from Vengeance featuring The Rock, The Undertaker, and Kurt Angle took complete advantage of the no count out and no disqualification stipulations. There was a full scale brawl out on the floor within the first few minutes of the match. The dead man battled both superstars and refused to relinquish his undisputed WWE Championship. It was anyone's match. These superstars threw caution to the wind and went at each other with a ferocity we'd never seen before. When all three gladiators were down, the Olympic hero dropped the dead man with the angle slam for what should have been the end. But the Brahma Bull made it to his feet, sent Angle crashing to the canvas with a rock bottom, and the man became the new undisputed WWE champion. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ. Oh, caught him! Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our table just shook. He's got him covered. Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never considered, and that was working together. The Beast survived three consecutive AAs from John Cena and a curb stop from Seth Rollins. Cena and Rollins then went toe-to-toe -to -toe as one tried to take the other out of the match. Oh, it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And the champ kicks out. Still a lot more fight left. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just we got to cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Nailed it. The impact. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided. He's making a statement here with this attack. Digging deep for a kick out. Wow. Down to the floor. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, oof. this is what makes him one of the best in the business. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quick. Look out, look out. This could be it. Oh, what a uh, flip left. Incredible. You have to like his chances here. You gotta believe this one's over. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Looking at it here. Oh, the home a slam. The champ's in a bad way now, Cole. That'll readjust your spine. For the 
Point of the elbow right in the nose. Jeez. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. And he's heading back in. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. That's what he was looking. This may very well be it. A competitor has been eliminated. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Boom. Oh, a knee right to the face. But he's running on few. The champion into the cover. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Not quite. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. The champion into the cover. A competitor has been what a eliminated. What a triple threat. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Almost forgot about this one. He's getting after it here. Check him out here. He really put on a great show. Quite some back and forth there before finally picking up the win. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.